Hello and be welcome to another episode of Let's Play Code Abbey. Um, today I decided that I would like to refresh my Python skills and uh, what better than to do that with kind of a small coding game. So you see I have the Python, you might recognize the icon, a documentation already open in the background for me to check things and I'll just dive into the first task uh, of Code Abbey, so the next task for me didn't actually solve too many tasks in the past and try to solve that one with Python. Let's see. Most programs should be able to make some choice and decisions. Makes sense? And we're going to practice conditional programming now. This is usually done by kind of an if-else statement which might look like blah blah blah. Okay. I've seen that before. Depending on your programming language, syntax could be different. Blah, else, optional, yes. With two numbers, please select one with minimum value. There are several pairs of numbers for thorough testing. So apparently I get um, in, in the first line the number of pairs and then a sequence of pairs and I'm to select the uh, smaller one, right? Yes. So let's try to write some Python code. Let's start with um, getting a count variable from the input, which should be the first line and immediately converting that to an int so I can actually work on that. And then what I want to do is um, I want to collect the mins, so let's try doing something like this. Not sure if that works in Python actually. And then we have a for loop saying for i in a range from 0 to uh, count. Colon is the right thing to do, I guess. Um, so from zero to count, I think this is exclusive, so this should go count times into the loop. I'm going to read the input, um, the input, and I'm going to split this input immediately because I want to have the first and the second number separately. And then I want to do something like if um, maybe I should convert these, say a is in num0, whoops, and b equals in nums1, I would like to say if a smaller b, then at set mins e to a else I hope that works this way uh, set mins i to b and then after this whole loop I want to just print space dot join mins and I'm absolutely not sure if that's going to work out, but I'm going to try it anyways. There's probably some syntactic errors in there. Yes. Invalid syntax to join down here, which means that the syntax above here is already quite all right. It's strings with a single tick here. Might be, I'm not sure going to happen. No, it doesn't like my join operation syntactically. So maybe I just have to add um, braces here because it does not get the auto capturing of that as the parameter to the print method. Um, okay, now we indeed have some new problems with a list and I would like to know how to add a new element to a list. So I'm going to ask Google Python add element to list. 
append versus versus so apparently there's an append method which I can use so I'm going to do append of this value else append of the other value let's see if that works better um, so we're back at the last ah, okay so we should actually convert this back to strings so in, or in order to do this join operation and quickly as that I have a number of values so let's try to submit that my answer is correct I just received 2.53 points of blessing whoever comes up with these numbers so my enlightenment uh, was raised a bit today, which is nice, and I got a refresher of some Python syntax. So let's see. Um, maybe I'll continue to do that in the other episodes. If you'd like me to continue playing uh, Code Abby, then let me know, send me a message, drop me a comment, or like this video. Um, if you're also playing Code Abby, let me know where you think the challenges are. Uh, I think it's quite difficult to actually code without the assistance of a proper IDE. Uh, because you have to remember all these um, syntactical things and the API methods and whatever, but luckily there's still Google uh, to look stuff up. And yeah, that's what got me through this one. Anyways, uh, that's it for today and I hope to see you next time.